We all know that plastic is a major cause for environmental pollution. But what about these tiny plastic particles that can cause real damage to your heart? Scientists have recently uncovered a shocking truth about these microplastics and the way they can damage your heart. In this landmark study published in the New England Journal of Medicine or NEJM, they evaluated the plaques removed by carotid endarterectomy by vascular surgeons and found that people in whom there were microplastics in these plaques had four times higher risk of heart attacks and strokes. Today I'll tell you about how these microplastics and nanoplastics that are found everywhere from the deepest of oceans to the water we drink can lead to a much higher risk of heart disease. The first question is how do microplastics reach your body? Microplastics or these tiny plastic particles less than 5 mm in size can reach your body through several routes. The most common is ingestion. Microplastics are present in a lot of food sources ranging from contaminated food and water to the plastic bottles or the packaged foods that we eat. Studies have shown that these microplastics were found in more than 90% of bottled water. A surprising study also showed that microplastics may be even found in your table salt. Foods packed in plastic containers also run the risk of having microplastics within them. The second way they can enter your body is through airborne mechanism. Especially in urban and industrial areas, there would be microplastics in the air and if we really breathe them in, they can reach your lungs and through the lungs they can reach your blood. The third way they can enter is through your skin. Some of the cosmetic and personal care products also use some amount of microplastics in them like the scrubs that you use or microbeads and that is how these microparticles can enter your skin and then your blood. Once microplastics enter your bloodstream, they can literally go anywhere right from your brain to your arteries to your liver. Studies have shown that these microparticles can cross cell membranes and lodge up into tissues leading to more damage. The second question which one may ask is how do these microplastics affect our health? As per the study itself, people who had microplastics did have a much higher risk of stroke and heart disease. That shows that the evidence of microplastic is not just a coincidence. It may have something much more to do. So when plastics travel in your bloodstream and get collected in your arteries, they can lead to many different changes, which in turn lead to blockages of arteries, be it the heart, be it the brain, or even your leg arteries. The possible mechanism behind this is inflammation. Microplastics can cause our body to react in an aggressive way and this reaction of the body to a foreign tissue is what is called as inflammation. That is a fancy way of saying swelling and irritation. If this inflammation happens in our bodies, that could lead to serious problems. Inflammation is often considered as the starting or triggering point for development of atherosclerosis or plaques or blockages in your arteries. If you all can remember, COVID itself was an inflammatory disease that has caused havoc all around the world. When these plastics lodge into your heart vessels or other blood vessels, they can lead to hypertension and increase the risk of heart attacks. If they lodge in your brain arteries, they put you at a higher risk of developing a stroke. These microplastics can also cause damage to your lungs and reduce your breathing capacity. They can also make your cough or asthma worse. Apart from these serious health issues, they can cause just general fatigue and tiredness in many people. So the big question is, can we remove microplastics from our body? Removing these microplastics from your body is very difficult and challenging. However, we can obviously reduce the intake or ingestion of these microplastics. And here is what we can do. The primary approach is to reduce exposure to microplastics. So switch over from those plastic bottles to either glass or steel bottles. Don't take your fruits and vegetables into these plastic carry bags. Also, packed food items 
packaged into these plastic bags are not very good for your health. The second would be adopting a healthy lifestyle. So if you eat less processed and packaged foods, you indirectly consume less amount of plastic too. Even if you're eating these fresh fruits and vegetables as a part of your healthy diet, remember, don't take them into these plastic bags. These plastic bags also can turn into danger. So use your own cloth bags whenever you go out to buy these fruits and vegetables. Avoiding the use of plastic bottles, be it those cold drinks or even water, will also help you in a very right way. Check your personal care products to find out whether they do contain some amount of plastics. In areas where you find that the pollution is very high, do wear your filtered masks to prevent exposure to these microplastics. When it comes to storing your food, remember there are alternatives to plastic containers. Plastic containers, especially with the role of microwave, has been very high but safer glass containers would be much more appropriate and helpful to you. So as research continues to unfold, I'm sure we will come up with much higher role of microplastics into different diseases. Hence, reduce your plastic consumption to not just save your environment, but save yourself too. Let me know in the comment section about what you have been doing to reduce your plastic intake.